Hi everyone, this is Eric Vanderwall from Drupal4Anyone.com. Just going to give you a couple quick tips about clearing your cache quickly. If you're working on a production site, hopefully you have your caching turned on. If your caching is turned on, you might have your views caching turned on, you might have your general site caching turned on. If that's the case, and you make a couple of changes to your site, they may not appear right away on your site when you're looking at it. This also might be the case if you change some different modules, change some settings. I very much found that when you're using the context module and you install some sub-modules for context, they don't appear in the context modules menu or UI right away. So what you need to do is clear the cache first. So how do you go about clearing the cache? The normal basic way to clear cache would be just to choose configuration from the top menu. Then from the configuration menu, find performance. And in performance, you can click the clear all cache button. Once that's done, you'll get the caches cleared message on the screen. Another way to do this is to use the administration menu module from Drupal. This is a great module. I much prefer this to the standard toolbar. And by using this module, you can actually clear the cache right from the menu rather than having to go into various administration pages on Drupal. So I'm going to jump back to my site, choose modules. And I've already actually installed this module, but it's not enabled. So before I enable the module, the first thing I want to do is disable the default tools module of Drupal. So here's the toolbar module that has come with Drupal. I'm going to disable that. And then I'm going to enable the administration menu module toolbar. So I've already previously installed this, so make sure you install the module here from Drupal.org. So now that I've enabled it, I'm just going to save it. And the administration menu module has taken over the toolbar here instead of the default toolbar. And what you'll notice is if I hover over the Drupal drop icon or logo up on the top left corner, we've got some new menu options, including flush all cache. So you can also selectively flush your cache for just the menu, for the registry, for the pages, for the theme, token, etc. So if you're not sure which one, you can just click flush all cache and it's going to dump the cache for the whole site. And it's done. It's that easy. So I really do like this module. I end up clearing my cache a lot from here. I run my cron from here. I run my updates here. It's a great module. Additionally, this comes with a couple of sub-modules, sub including administration development tools here and the administration menu toolbar style. So if we activate the toolbar style and save that. As you can see, it makes it a little more handsome here. It looks a lot more like the default toolbar style. However, it's got all the same options as the administration menu. So if you like it nice and big and bubbly, go ahead and activate that sub-module. So in summary, that is how to clear your cache on your Drupal 7 website. Hopefully you have your caching set up on your sites that are done and running for the public to view. If you're just in the process of setting them up or you're making some major changes, you might want to turn the caching off. But again, if they're running out in the wild there, make sure you have your caching turned on. You can get all the Drupal performance boosts that you need. So again, this is Eric Vanderwall for DrupalForAnyone.com. Come visit us for more tips and tutorials on Drupal.